Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be combining our favorites viewer and our favorites viewer tray into one application. Now the credit for these two applications goes to the authors of Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 and they are Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Now I've been using these applications to teach you guys some object oriented programming techniques and now what we're going to do is we're going to use my method of combining these two applications into one. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to Favorites Viewer YouTube and we need to add an existing item. So go ahead and go to Favorites Viewer YouTube and go to Favorites Viewer Tray YouTube and add, add Web Favorite Menu Item. So I'm just going to click Cancel because I've already done that. So once that's in there, you need to right click on it and click View Code. Now you will see the import statement right here that says imports and it will say internet favorites. So you can just go ahead and delete that because we don't actually reference that DLL in this uh, project. So now that we have our web favorite menu item, let's go ahead and change some properties of our viewer.vb. So we need to come over here to the properties and we need to not show it in the taskbar. So it will find show in taskbar and we will set that to false. Now it should be set to true for you um, and I already set mine to false. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and come over to our toolbox and we'll add a notify icon. So we'll set the text of this to right click for favorites. So when they hover over it with their mouse, it's going to tell them to right click for the favorites. And for the name, we'll set it to icon favorites. And now what we need to do is we need to set the icon to the star that we had. So I'll just go to my desktop and select this favorites icon. Okay, so now we'll come into viewer.vb and you can see that when the viewer loads, it loads the favorites. So what we need to do is come down here and we need to edit our load favorites sub. So you can see that it uses object favorites as a new favorites. So if you notice here, it uses a for each loop to go through each of the favorites in our favorites collection. Now if we go back and look at form1.vb from our favorites viewer tray, you can see that it also uses a for each loop to go uh, and search through each of the favorites in the collection. So we can use this to our advantage. We can use this existing for loop that's already here. And now one thing you need to make sure that you've done before you edit your code is right click on Favorites view, Viewer YouTube and set it as the startup project. Okay, so let's come up here and whenever we load the favorites, we'll just go ahead and declare object menu as a new context menu. So now that we have our context menu, context menu, what we need to do is come down here into our for each loop and we need to, to declare a web favorite menu item. So we'll just call it object uh, favorite item or we'll do object item as a new web favorite item or web favorite menu item and for the arguments it's going to take a web favorite and you can see that in our for each loop it has object web favorite as a web favorite. So we can use that in this argument. So object web favorite. So it creates that object item. And so now what we want to do is we want to add that to our list. So we'll do object menu dot menu items dot add. And we want to add our object item. Now it, this is going to be called for each of the favorites that are in our collection. So let's come over here back to form1.vb and see what else we need to do. Well we've done this right here so now we need to add the separ separator and the exit menu. So we'll go into viewer.vb and we'll come down here below our end using and we'll just type object menu dot menu items dot add and then we'll add the separator and now what we need to do is type object menu dot menu items dot add 
and we'll create a new instance of an exit menu item. So instead of declaring a, a variable of exit menu item um, and creating that uh, outside of this, that would just be a waste of memory. So what we can do is create the new instance of it inside of the arguments of the object menu dot menu items dot add. So the exit menu item is inside of our class or uh, inside of our file I should say our web favorite item dot vb. You can see we've got the class exit menu item and it inherits from menu item and it sets the text to exit and when they click on it it will exit their application. So we'll come back into viewer dot vb and let's make sure that we've done everything right. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to set that context menu um, to the icon. We need to attach those to each other. So we'll type icon favorites dot context menu is going to be equal to our object menu. So once we've created our menu and we've added added it to the icon, let's go ahead and have this um, program minimized to the system tray. So if they double click on icon favorites, we'll type if me dot visible is equal to false, then we'll type me dot show. So if the um, application is not visible and it's hidden, then we'll just show it again. And instead of testing to see if it's visible, let's just type if me dot window state is equal to form window state dot minimize so if it's minimized then we'll show it and then we'll set the form window state to a uh, normal so me dot window state is going to be equal to form window state dot normal so they'll be able to see it so now what we need to do is we need to access the resize event for this form so that if they minimize it, it will hide it. So we'll go to our viewer events and we will find resize. So if they resize it, let's use an if statement. So if me dot window state is equal to form window state dot minimized, then we'll just type me dot hide. So when they double click on the icon favorites, it'll show it if it's hidden, and then when they minimize it, it's going to hide it. So let's go ahead and run this, and hopefully we won't get any errors. And you can see here that it loads our form right here, and it has our default link, and we can refresh, and we can select these links. But you can also see down here in our tray, we have the favorites um, icon that says right click for, right -click for favorites. And when we right click, we get our menu. So if we minimize this, you can see that it's not shown in the taskbar and it just disappears. So in order for us to show it, we'll just double click on the um, icon and it'll show it back. Okay, well, the error that we had there um, was fairly simple. Um, it took me a little bit to figure it out though uh, because it was kind of strange. You can see here that we've got our sub that handles icon favorites uh, double click. Now, what we wanted to actually use is icon favorites mouse double click. So when they mouse double click on the star, it will show it. Um, I don't know why this is. This is actually very strange because you would think that icon favorites double click would run this code, but you actually have to use mouse double click. So we'll run this. You can see here is our form. And let me just go ahead and come down here into the tray. We'll minimize. And you can see here is our favorites um, icon and when we right click on it we get the favorites and let's just go ahead and double click on it you can see it'll open up the favorites again and when we minimize it it goes away and if we double click it it'll open it up again and then if we right click on the star and click exit the whole application is going to exit so thanks for watching these tutorials on Visual Basic. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and once you're done with this program, feel free to leave a video response showing us um, what you made. And all of my projects, well, mostly all of them, all the big ones, 
are going to be available for download at the New Boston's website.